A news alert. The FBI arriving tonight at the North Carolina home of Paula Broadwell. She's the DU alum accused of having an affair with CIA Director David Petraeus. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart live now. Mark, you've learned more about those emails sent between the two. And Mike, tonight ABC News is reporting hundreds if not thousands of emails were discovered on Broadwell's computer, emails detailing the alleged affair. Also tonight, more calls for a federal investigation as more lawmakers ask why they weren't notified sooner. Late tonight, 7 News with a video of the FBI arriving at Paula Broadwell's home in Charlotte, North Carolina. Six agents carried in briefcases, plastic tubs, and lots of cardboard boxes. Witnesses say they turned on nearly all of the lights inside as photos were taken of the exterior. A friend of General Petraeus says their affair started about a year ago, two months after becoming the head of the CIA. Also tonight, cameras captured the arrival of Jill Kelly, a friend of General Petraeus. She's the recipient of threatening emails from Broadwell and the woman who triggered the investigation. Kelly is not romantically linked to Petraeus. They're wearing uniforms. All of this a surprise considering Broadwell, a DU alum, was speaking at the university about two weeks ago, making this controversial remark. I don't know if a lot of you have heard this, but the CIA annex had actually um, had taken a couple of Libyan militia members prisoner, and, and they think that the attack on the consulate was an effort to try to get these prisoners back. So that, that's still being vetted. Besides the affair, she's facing questions about sensitive military information found on her computer, information someone with clearance would have had to provide her. And just about two hours ago, USA Today posted a story on its website reporting that Petraeus will testify at the Benghazi hearings, even though he is no longer the head of the CIA. Live in Denver tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.